This is a demo on using the Fastone Photo Resizer version 2.7, which can be downloaded for free online. First thing you're going to do is go to the file uh, that where your pictures are stored. In this case, I've already created a file with 12 pictures in it that I want to use. They're under My Pictures, Show and Tell, November 2008, Rod Sheen. I'll click on those and it will open them up. I can do one of two things. I can add them individually or I can just add all and since I want to use all of them I'll just use the add all button. Now they're all added and we can preview them. Notice the preview is check mark is on so we can preview them and see each one of them if we want it to do that. The next thing you need to do is to make sure you use the advanced options for resize. Click on that and it will come up with advanced options. Advanced options. Even though I said originally that we were going to resize these to 2,000 pixels on the longest side, a much better choice is going to be 1,600 pixels on the longest side with a height of 1,200 and this will switch them as it needs to. Switch the width and height uh, to match long sides and preserve aspect ratio. This is from uh, right here, 1600 by 1200 drop down. And notice that the resize button had to, um, check mark had to be um, clicked on right here in order to activate the resize. You can do several other things with this program as well, but the only thing we're worrying about right now is resize. You might want to go in and check these at a later time. Now, we want to make sure of the place we're going to store these, we're going to be able to find them. We'll go here and select. I'm going to, uh, under here, create a new, a, a different folder. I already had a new folder, but I don't want to use that. I'm going to create a folder that's going to be called S&T for show and tell, November. November 2008 underscore Rod Sheen and I'll create that folder. Well, by double clicking on it now I'll actually go into that folder. So, click down here that we're on the, in that folder and we can say okay so that whatever we do now will be stored in that new folder. So, all we have to do is click on the convert button and the converting process will now take place. Some of them will be upsized, some of them will be downsized. Um, you'll notice this first one was upsized, uh, so it made it slightly larger. We went from, well maybe three times larger, but you'll notice that most of the others are significantly smaller. And in fact down here at the bottom you'll see the old size is its accumulating in the new size and we'll be able to compare how much smaller our total files are going to be. So this last number 12 is a big folder and a big file and it's going to take it a little bit to process it. So we're at 100%. We started off with our total of 72 megs and we're down to 16 megs. And the 1600 uh, setting will give us plenty of good quality for what we're going to be using things for. So now we can click on done and our new uh, new folders made all there is to it.